Hey YouTubers, so today I'm um, making a completely different video. It's just something that I had a conversation with somebody about and I figured it's something that, that needs to be talked about. Um, I have a female friend, one of a few female friends that I have and you know we talk back and forth just hey how you doing what's new with you stuff like that nothing special um and uh so she contacted me yesterday well she didn't contact me initially yesterday about it she contacted me uh, a couple days ago about a situation where she thought her boyfriend was cheating on her and uh you know eventually she found out the truth that he really was cheating on her you know and she was distraught. Now, females have male friends, and the male friends that they have can generally be put into two categories. There's the interested male, who might be interested in a female because he might be sexually interested in her or might want a relationship with her or you know some variation thereof and then there are men who are not interested in her you know for whatever reason maybe it's because he might be in a platonic relationship uh, with her he might already be in a fulfilling relationship with someone else or he might be gay or maybe they dated and they don't want to go back down that road to get whatever the reason is you know but that that relationship is at a level where it's never going to go any further. They're friends and that's the end of it. And women know exactly which category which uh, man is in. And they have to because that's how they know how to deal with them. You know, whether it's uh, uh, dealing with them on a professional level or a personal level. That's just the way it works story for a completely different video but uh, I say that to say that I am in the platonic zone with this woman I'm not interested in her she's not interested in me you know it's just uh, friendly back and forth and the reason why I say that is because her coming to me for advice means that she wanted honest and candid advice typically if a woman comes to a man for advice about something and she knows that it's a man who is sexually interested in her or interested in a relationship with her or anything like that it's not so much that she wants candid information as she wants someone to sit there and yes with her you know just be like yeah your boyfriend is horrible or yeah your employees are against you or yeah that shouldn't have happened or yeah you look good and I don't know what's wrong with these people you know a yes person um, because typically that's what men do you know if they're really interested in a woman uh, they will become her yes boy and whenever she ask questions or ask for advice you know regardless of how outrageous it would be for him to agree with her we tend to do that you know it's it's in our nature it's the nature of our social desires you know we we want to be liked and we feel like as as a um, as a way, a means of being liked, we have to be agreeable with these people. So, the fact that she would come to me knowing our situation and knowing that I'm not going to lie to her means that I know that she wanted candid information. Um, but um, that's just a little backstory on how we get to where we are now and where we are now is uh, she contacted me last night and she was very distraught and she was upset and um, she couldn't understand why she had been cheated on because that's the main thing you know 
a man or a woman, anybody, uh, when you're cheated on, it gives you a feeling of low self-worth. And that's the main thing we want to know. You know, we might want to know when it happened. You know, we might want to know who it happened with and all that. But the main thing, the burning question that's going to keep you up at night for many, many nights is wanting to know why. Why did this person leave me to go have a relationship or have sex with or go be intimate with on a level that's not appropriate with this other person you know what was I not doing and that's normal you know the thing is um, we also you know we always um, tell ourselves well Maybe I wasn't doing enough. Maybe I wasn't giving them attention. Or maybe I wasn't treating them right. Or maybe I was ignoring them. Or maybe I gained weight. Or maybe I can't cook. Or maybe I'm not making enough money. Or, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then on top of that, uh, the person who cheated, the person who did you wrong, uh, perpetuates this by telling you lies. And uh, what I mean by telling you lies, they will... They will make up stories or sometimes they actually believe the stories that they're telling you themselves, which I'm not sure which scenario is worse, but they will tell you lies. They will tell you that um, it's because I felt like we weren't connecting the way we used to or this person was paying attention to me and you don't pay attention anymore or, you know, whatever the situation is. And um, it's all lies. It's all lies. Okay. There is one reason and two sub reasons why people cheat on other people okay and it's very simple most great answers to questions are very simple in nature and so I'm gonna tell you why people cheat and it's gonna hurt your feelings it will if you've ever been cheated on anyone uh, by anyone you know if you've been cheated on currently if you've been cheated on in the past or it's something that you know you've been thinking about or whatever it's gonna hurt your feelings there is no way around it and also once I tell it to you you're never gonna be able to unthink it you know it's just one of those things that's gonna stick with you so if you're a weak-minded person who you feel like you don't want to go through the hurt and the bad feelings that come with knowing something like this, you know, maybe this is not the video for you. I don't really want to ruin anybody's day. But sometimes we want answers, and so here it is. So the reason why people cheat, um, why anyone cheats on anyone a man might cheat on a woman or a woman might cheat on a man is quite simple and the reason is that they are not afraid of losing you that's all there is to it okay if someone cheats on you it's because they're not afraid to lose you if you cheat on someone it's because you are not afraid to lose them that's all there is to it okay all this bullshit about uh, she gained weight or he doesn't make enough money or he doesn't pay enough attention to me or she's always out with her friends or I don't like their parents or they chew with their mouth open or he snores at night. You know, all that, all that is bullshit. Okay, that's, that's bullshit. That's, that's cause after the fact. The only reason why someone will cheat on you is because they are not afraid to lose you. Okay. And there are two possible reasons for that. The reason one is that they feel like if they get caught, when they get caught, that uh, you guys are going to sit down and you're going to talk about it and you're going to cry and you're going to hash it out and you're going to hug and you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry and this is horrible and we have to change and we need to fix it. And then you're going to end up back together and they haven't lost you. And they feel like that's what's going to happen in scenario one. Okay. But either way, they're not afraid to lose you. In scenario two, they feel like, I don't care about this person, okay? I don't value this person enough to want to keep them in my life to where I would not cheat. Because I feel like if I cheat and they find out and they leave me, oh well. That is the reality of it. 
okay they are not worried about losing you either way and that's the only reason why people cheat 